This show is proudly sponsored by TraderCobb.com, the leaders in checklist-based trading strategy. Yes, that's exactly how it sounds. I'll teach you a literal checklist so you can tick off items and be decisive very quickly. Get across to TraderCobb.com where there's a bunch of free content there for you to have a look at. And of course, if you're interested in having me come to your city, click and register for the live events coming up and filling fast. Have a great day. Visit TraderCobb.com now. The Trader Cobb Crypto Show, talking business in blockchain. Good everybody, welcome to the Trader Cobb Crypto Show. Well, we've seen the day kick off quite well for those in the Southern Hemisphere. If you're in the North, then you'll have seen this move occur as well. And I see it as quite a positive when we are up nearly 10%, nearly $1,000 or at $1,000 right now. And a lot of that move just kicked off just recently. Now to recall, also to recap yesterday, we saw that big rejection candle back at the 61.8% FIB rejecting 10,000. We're now sitting just below $12,000. And from those lows that we saw printed from the 61.8, we've actually seen a solid move of over 20% now. It's looking very strong as it stands right now from my view. What am I doing today? Well, yesterday's plan was to look at the lower time frames for trading opportunities. And it looks as though today, if we do continue with this and we don't just see it as being a spike, which it doesn't look like at this stage, then I'll be looking to do something similar. My key point out there this morning to my members in the video was that if it broke through this consolidation that we had been seeing, that it looked quite strong for Bitcoin to continue on. Now, whether that happens or not is not up to me. What I am here to do is trade the market the way I see fit, and I might be looking for Fibonacci boosters, pullbacks, cradles, and the likes uh, as we do see Bitcoin continue to the upside. It's the pullbacks where my opportunities are going to come from today. By the look of it, I know it's very early days, but that's likely the occurrence at the moment from what I can see on the charts. We're at $11,874. We're up 9% as we stand right now in the markets. Going on to Ethereum now. Look, it's just cracked the $300 mark again. Will it hold or will it pull back? It had a really interesting day yesterday on those lower time frames. I did get a trade on there, but right now, I mean, there's nothing of interest until we break up through yesterday's high. And yesterday's high was at one, oh, sorry, 301.75. Get above there, start to climb, get some good cyclicity on that two hour chart uh, and that four hour trend back in motion, and I'll be a player there. Currently sitting at $364, up 2.63%. Onto EOS now, still fairly flat. It's toying with that $6 mark. It's just above, it's $6.08. We're up 2.76% there on EOS, but it's a slow burner for me. It's not really that attractive at this stage, given the daily um, and the four hour are not really doing a great deal. Stellar Lumens does what Stellar Lumens does, which is sweet FA. It's been banging around, it had a little spike, it's not doing a great deal, it's at 10.5 cents, up 2.54%. XRP, well, it's currently up 1.15%, sitting around that 40 cent mark. Found some support at 39 cents, a lot of divergence on that four hour chart right now, looking at that. Um, we'll have to wait and see what plays out further today, but it's not really of interest at this moment in time. Nor's Litecoin is sitting at $121, up 1.76%. The daily is just not convincing to me at all. Uh, I'll have a quick look at the two day and talk to that if there's anything there and there's not, so I can move right along. Bitcoin Cash consolidation broke now. It has a slightly higher low on that four hour chart. Still though, nothing too impressive from my point of view. I'm not really looking at that very aggressively today. It's at $420.47, up 2.64%. Binance holding around that 31, 32 area is a 32.54 up 1.75 percent, but again, not of that much interest to me. Trying against the dollar, same sort of thing. Still in that daily consolidation range, the four hour has not cracked itself back into an uptrend just yet, and it's looking rather average. Cardano, the final on my list today, it's at 8.1 cents, sitting up only 1.19 percent. So what I'm seeing across the board at the moment is that Bitcoin is regaining its dominance. It is coming back with a vengeance. It is moving quite well. We're now pushing onto new daily highs as I speak to you, or just shy of daily highs as I speak to you now. And uh, it does look very, very strong on this chart. Just the way that the move occurred, it just shot straight through, did not look back, has not pulled back. And since I saw it this morning, there's a little 15 minute cradle here. I did not take that because it wasn't a good trade. Um, since that level, we've now seen the market move up over $500 and we are looking quite strong at this moment in time. 
I guess the main point here is to be patient. Wait for your opportunities. If you are in these markets, if you have a trade on, excellent. Keep an eye on it because we are starting to see some buying momentum coming back in. A 10% day is nothing to be sniffed at. 20% or over 20% in two days from the lows is quite a strong rejection of 10,000 and that 61.8% FIB. Now, whether you're looking to learn to trade or whether you're looking for good market entries, technical analysis and trading strategy is going to help you. For example, the pullback that we saw um, we bounced from was pretty much bang on a nice Fibonacci level and a round number. If we draw that in now, I can tell you that the 61.8 was at 98.90. That was the point at which the 61.8 was and the low was 10, uh, sorry, 97.28. So pretty much on the nose there, as I say, whether you're looking to hodl, whether you're looking to buy or whether you're looking to know when to get out or trade the markets, you need to learn how to act within this wonderful space that is cryptocurrency. So get across to the website, have a look at what we offer if you are in another part of the world. Still register for the live courses that are coming up because we're working out which cities we're going to go to next. Have a fantastic day, guys. Trade well, trade safe, manage your risk. Bye for now. This show is proudly sponsored by TraderCobb.com, the leaders in checklist-based trading strategy. Yes, that's exactly how it sounds. I'll teach you a literal checklist so you can tick off items and be decisive very quickly. Get across to TraderCobb.com where there's a bunch of free content there for you to have a look at. And of course, if you're interested in having me come to your city, click and register for the live events coming up and filling fast. Have a great day. Visit TraderCobb.com now.